Hello, you wonderful people. And we're almost done. We have a few last things left. But before we do, I want to show you a small refactor here. If we take a look at our content type builder, we're going to notice that we have our single type landing page. If you take a look at the content, we have our blocks, title, description. And then we also have our dynamic page here, which has similar content, has title, description, with addition of the slog, but we still have the similar blocks. And when we started this tutorial, I wanted to show you two ways that you could add landing pages. You could either add them as a single type. For instance, you could have a landing page, you could have an about page, or you could add pages dynamically like we did here with our collection type for the pages here. But when we were creating this tutorial, we wanted to handle the popular light logic server side for allow us to get our data. For instance, when we make a get request to our pages, we have our data with all of our populated content that we have here. And if we also make a get request to our landing page, we have our populated blocks here with all the data populated. And all of this populate logic is happening on the server. So if we take a look in our code, if we navigate to our source API and we take a look at the landing page, you remember that we created a middleware that has all of our populate logic for this particular route. We also did something similar to our page API endpoint, where we have another middleware that's responsible to populate the logic for the page content type. But this middleware, it's the same. And when you do find yourself that you had to write same logic twice, this is a good reason for you to take the code that repeats in two different places, for instance, in this middleware inside our page, and it's exactly the same inside our landing page inside middleware here. And then you could move it to more of a global middleware and then call that global method in the routes for both the landing page and our page content here in the route here. And someone might make an argument that we could also do something similar to the articles. If we take a look at the articles and we look at the middleware, we have a middleware here. But I'm going to keep this separate. Why? Because maybe you want to have different populate logic for articles. Maybe you might have specific blocks that are more specific for block content. So this one, we're going to keep it alone. So for now, what we're going to do, we're going to take our page middleware and our landing page middleware and turn it into a global middleware. So let's go ahead and do that now. So in our terminal, we're going to run yarn strappy generate to generate a new middleware. This is going to create the boiling plate. So we're going to scroll down to middleware and we're going to call it global page populate. And we're going to add it to the root of the project because we're going to use it in a couple of different spots. This went ahead and created our project in our middlewares folder called global page populate.ts file. If we want to list our middlewares, we could run yarn strappy middlewares list. This is going to go ahead and list all of the available uh, middlewares that we have. So if we scroll here to the top, we're going to find that we have our global page populate middleware. So before we're going to use it, let's go ahead and update the code. The code is going to look exactly for what we have here in our middleware page.populate file. So go ahead and copy the previous code logic that we did. And now in the source folder, in the root, you're going to see that we have our global middlewares folder. We could go ahead and open that up where we have our basic dummy placeholder text. And let's go ahead and paste in our middleware. The logic is the same. All we did is just move it to a different place to allow us to access it in other routes. And instead of page populate, we're going to call it global page populate. And now that we have this middleware, what you can do is go ahead in your API inside the landing page, go ahead and delete this middleware folder because you're not going to use it. And we're going to do the same thing for our pages. Go ahead and delete this middleware folder because instead we're going to use our shared global middleware. 
And to finally, to make these changes work, you need to go ahead and reference it inside our route. So I'm going to copy this name and inside page routes folder, inside page.tsx file, we no longer have our route local middleware, but we created our global middleware. So let's go ahead and add it here. And we're going to do the same thing inside our landing page routes folder, landing page. So now what we're doing is we have one middleware that's responsible for populating both the landing page and our page content. And that way, if we do need to make changes instead of the two previous places that we had, we could just go ahead and make the change in the global middleware, making our code much cleaner and more modular. With that being said, let's go ahead and restart our Strapi instance. So let me clear the screen and run Yarn Dev. Once our project restarts, here back in Postman, if we rerun our request, notice we're still populating our landing page as expected. And if we query our pages, our populate still works as expected. Awesome. So what we did, we cleaned up our code instead of repeating ourselves in two different places, we went ahead and created our global middleware and pointed to our separate routes for our landing page and pages. Nice. So looking at our front end mockup, we are pretty much done representing all of this content in Strapi before starting out building the front end. The only last item we have left to add is this featured blog post section that we're going to add to our pages as a block component. And we're also going to do the same thing here in the articles. So in the next video, let's go ahead and create our last component. Then we'll share some of our closing thoughts and what next, and then go from there. So I'll see you in a minute.